We've gotten two new patches. Starts is now for 3.24.2a going to live and 3.24.3 going to the PTU. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI or go atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. Guys, um, let's just get straight into it. Um, we're gonna start off with starts off with 3.24.2a uh going straight into live right now so um it says here characters in this new environment have been built from long-term persistent data currently with long-term persistent certain player states such as personal hangar layouts custom characters and in-game purchase consumables are not safe between releases which will cause some items to be lost in the next update it says here items not saved in long-term persistent include hangar decoration customizations and med pens ammo ongoing rentals and refinery jobs character customizer and uh, it says here make sure to export your custom character all right so now um bug fixes there's a few of them here they fix an issue where retrieving a ship results and we are unable to deal with your request at this time and no ship it says here they fix an issue where majority of the transit manager can stop functioning for a given shard for hours with no entity graph lag present they fix an issue where a player interacts with a soft terminal while a server error occurs can block this kiosk from being interacted with by another player if it's an issue where you cannot initiate quantum jump for multiple vehicles if it's an issue where hauling missions give full rewards without delivering all cargo when the submit button is pressed if it's an issue where permanent incapacitated audio loop after respawning if it's an issue where when a player is in the co-pilot or gunner seat the player in the pilot seat will not be able to swap between scm and nav mode this is for all the zeus variants if it's an issue where the transit appear to be failing to stream back in after being streamed out if it's an issue where spawning not possible after rejoining a lobby in arena commander this one has nine client crashes 23 server crash fixes three hybrid crash fixes multiple issues with extremely high entity counts in stanton they made further client physics performance improvements and made further background service stability improvements all right so now Let's get on to the PTU build that's about to drop with Star Citizen Alpha 3.24.3 this time around. It says it's released for all waves and the testing focus is stability and bug fixes, IAE calls at new Babbage and save standing global event. So now under features and gameplay under ships and vehicles, it says they've updated the MISC Starfarer Annunciator scale. They realigned the Mistar Lancer Enunciator to be vertical. They, they updated the Redeemer to front and back shields with two times size two shields. So does that mean four in total, two on each side? Is that is that how I'm reading this? They made slight adjustment to the flight tuning for the Mirai Fury and the Aegis Saber Firebird and Paragon. They've added rentable ships in Arena Commander, the Saber Firebird, Anvil, Hornet, F7, C, Mach 2, and the Ursa medevac this one comes with a lot of new bug fixes they fix an issue where the carrick medical screen grants access to inventory upon striking f and short press instead of the medical screen they fix an issue where the hall a has no atmosphere in the cabin they fix an issue where nine tails and guard ai are overlapping and clipping in each other outside of underground facilities they fix an issue where turrets cannot be targeted they fix an issue where elevator panel button disappears on upper floor they fix an issue where there is a vis area issue with the component bay and cargo bay door in the 400i they fix an issue where the interior of the 600i doesn't render properly through the doors they fix an issue where full power weapon adjustments takes additional power away from other systems they fix an issue where illumination issue with light probe and popping shadows they fix an issue where detached mining pods improperly collide with vehicles and prevent players from loading them into other ships they fix an issue where the water on cleo has stripped effects when flying nearby with vulcan enabled they fix an issue where vehicle components and interactable 
remain static when the vehicle is destroyed. The first initial where animated vehicle weapons are powered on and in their deployable state when spawned from in a sub terminal. The face an issue where the muzzle flash is not present when firing. This is for the Gemini LH86 pistol. They fix an issue where planet surface has visual artifacts when arriving at the POIs. So now this is on Microtech distribution centers. If it's an issue where Aegis Saber has pixelated reflection texture on the cockpit canopy glass. If it's an issue where you're unable to complete scan of other vehicles or see scan result, Copilot now also has radar control. That's nice. So now that's for the Bennu Defender. If it's an issue where shipping in delivery kiosk Kovalex screens uh, will be stuck on please stand by after pressing pickup if it's an issue where the four seu variants of the salvage skull set has the appearance of a default four seu container so now this is for the salvage skull four seu container don't know what this one is never i don't think i've seen it in game yet uh, but uh this one has six client crash fixes 12 server crash fixes three server deadlock fixes one hybrid crash fix they made several audio performance optimizations and made several out of memory server improvements. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.